Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Minecraft. Today I got a good size uh, here. Yeah, I need to learn the commands. I'm gonna try and reset my, um, controls since I'm using a different mouse. But, anyways, we are looking at the traps I set up, some of them involve the use of shulker boxes, which could be used to, for trolling other players in, like, the world when you're playing, like, PvP. <laughs> anyway, I just reset the, um, controls because I'm using a actual wireless mouse instead of the trackpad this time, as you may have noticed. So that way. So basically, all right. There we go. I'm gonna have it set the false for a little bit, but I'll be copying and pasting it. So anyway, let's get started on our traps. Let's start the first one right here. What you're looking at right here. I should set my spawn point. What you're looking at here is an, a tower right here. This is actually used for trolling players. It, and it says, get the cake. Which means there's a command block. And if you run over this tripwire, it'll give you a cake. But what it actually does... You get a... Um, what you can see here is that the effect that you get that causes uh, instant death is the levitation is set to an amplifier of 128, which is enough to drop a player at high speeds. That teleports you to the top of that tower. And the reason why I've avoided putting sunlight in there is to troll the player. And that if you even attempt to look inside, you can see that there is, um, an experience orb. But apparently, no items are there. And they get all teleported into this chest where players can easily steal someone's loot. Which is good in PvP when you're trying to steal someone's loot. So basically, we're gonna get the, um, clear inventory stuff out of the way, but let's actually grab some more stuff. Anyway, back down, we're gonna head into this mine shaft because I have set up a few traps in there as well. Let's actually set our spawn point right here. So anyways, as you're saying, bring this chest. It's actually a chest archive. Where I'm gonna keep my stuff. This first trap is a trap, and you hear a lot of bubbling in the background. There was actually a piston under there, and that's probably gonna release the lava. And there's a chest, and the comparator, when it detects that there are items in the chest, the player will be burned. And actually. should be that, um, I, I, I apologize, you know, just got this mess yesterday, oh great, alright, I have fire check off, so, So basically for ad security, 
Oh no! Oh my balls. Are you kidding? Oh dear. Alright, I accidentally disarmed a chest. I accidentally took down a chest. So anyway, sorry about that. That was my bad. I need to actually add a repeater. Totally disarmed a lava trap. And here we go. So yeah, we have actually created... And you can change the trap around to make a, a loot trap or a anti-theft system. Where if someone takes something out of the, the chest and there are no more items left, the piston door will open. Causing the lava to spill out and killing the player. And there's no escape since that's another door. It cannot be broken. Then... What the heck? Alright, sorry about that. So anyway... This next trap that I'm going to show you is basically a trolling method. Not really a trap, since again, it's kind of like that first one I just showed you where when a player dies, there are hoppers that collect the loot and players get to steal it. Basically, this is a different method. Instead, it's a trolling method. So you see in that shulker box? You can use shulker boxes. They're much easy. And actually, to force the player to place it at the end, we should prevent the player from... placing it by, um... prompting the play... Whoops. I made a mistake again. Basically, I'm changing. Actually, no, I'm going to use sand. Sand's gra anti-gravity, so... Anyway, you place the shulker box on the sand, so yeah. There are items in it, but when you place the item on there, there's no items in there. That's because there's a minecart with chest in it. And I'll actually give you instructions some other time. Or whenever I have time. And basically, that shulker chest will actually have nothing in it. Because the items are getting collected. Alright. There is another trap. Where, um... There's this carpet. If you walk on a certain carpet, then you'll see. There's hidden. There's a hidden magma cube under there, trolling the player. So basically, you keep getting hurt until you die. It won't work if you have um fire resistance effect on you or any type of protection, and you like it. Sword. Anyway. So we've shared like three traps so far. Let's actually take you to the next three traps, which is in this chamber right here. This is a big chamber right here. So yeah, basically I need to add like an entryway the next chamber. So basically, the next three traps are going to be in this big chamber right here. Yeah, that, I already said that's true. So, let's actually switch your game mode. So basically, tripwire, door. Oh dear, pufferfish. This is a pufferfish death trap. And you can see here, it's entity pufferfish. And basically, it's a trap system where you run over this, um... Where you run into this trip wire. And... Let's actually collect the item. So anyway... These are going to be in this upcoming update, I'm using this, the latest snapshot right now as a guide. Anyway, let's actually get out of here. Whoops, I actually armed it. 
soon as I'm in possession of the tougher fish. Basically, these next two traps are in this room. Anyway, the first one is a multi air shield. There we go. You run into this. And again, just like that lava trap, there's no escape. You run into this pressure plate. What just... Okay, let's try that again. We'll get shot by a bunch of arrows, it'll stop. And you can disarm it for cleaning up purposes. And then, soon I'll add a hopper mechanism so that the person who creates the trap. So anyway, that, and then there's another trap and then you're pretty much suffocating in a wall. Basically, I'm in creative because I have to just re reset all the dispensers, but let's actually do it in survival. You run here, and then you like suffocate through a, a wall that is made out of cobblestone. You choose the material lights, but cannot be transparent, or else it won't work. See, that's the trap. And then we are actually going to go up. Because I've actually missed a trap. And I'm going to need to go in this water. There's magic with this water. So I'll take it down. And then it will kill you. Because again, it's not like that trap. You don't have to you're guaranteed to lose a life. So anyway. I discovered the floor was lava. So anyway, we're actually going back now. And now we're going back to the mine shaft. Because there are more traps to discover. And I do not have a pickaxe. Let's check any of these. Oh, I do not. So anyway, there are several whoops actually ran over a magma block track. First one that we showed you. So yeah, we're now going down here. And what you're about to see is this. Um first actually we can just walk back. First Um I think there I have a feeling there's another trap. First, this trap is actually a troll since you mine diamond ore, but it will kill the player, but also kill the item that was dropped from the diamond ore. So let's see this come to life. It kills the player, it kills the entity. It's really cool, and you can easily troll players doing that. And the fun part about trolling the player is that you get to feel how much powerful you are so you can choose spots. You can use any ore like lapis ore or any of the rare ones like gold, emerald, diamonds would work best. Emeralds may not be as effective. Diamond, I know, can be crafted into diamond weapons, so that's why. But you've got to rearm the thing. So basically... They run by command blocks, then there's a repeater. So that in case the what? The flip? I think my gun sword just disappeared. Anyway, we'll talk about that. There's just be aware some of this is references to 
Harry Potter's incantations and spells, so just be aware of that. The next one is actually an effect system trap. You know, although it will still kill the entity when the item drops, it will give bad effects to the player. You can use any of the negative effects. You can set it for a certain time to infinity, like 99, 999,000 is the infinite. Basically, let's mine this. Let's see what's... The Cruciatus Curse. Okay, you can see how slow he's moving that pickaxe. So you can see here that he's got his pickaxe. The block is breaking, but. It's not doing anything. It's not as effective. It's like breaking bedrock. There's mining fatigue. You can barely see the pickaxe. I have a feeling it's gonna take all day. Anyway, let's not. So anyway... To rearm, reactivate the trap, gotta do is place any ore, diamonds, best effective. Don't do gold, diamonds more effective. It'll be much more difficult to do everyone, but anyway, I'll be running. My sword disappeared again. Anyway, let's talk about that. Anyway, this is another idea from Harry Potter series. That you can actually disarm a wizard. This is actually the same concept, except that it can disarm any sword that you have. Bow, arrow, arrow, shield that does not disarm any armor. What am I doing? Screw the commands. Oh, that's bow. Alright, I'm actually gonna s reverse the controls around because this was just getting annoying. Oh my gosh! I accidentally reset everything. I know, sorry about that. So anyway, this is how it's run. These be command blocks, and then you get an action ball right here. Which is a new thing. So yeah, basically if I copy and paste this, this is an action bar right here. That's an action bar. So basically that's probably it in the traps. Let's go and do some redstone checking. There's not a lot of redstone that I can show you, but I might show you how to build them in separate videos at some other time, because I might be running low in space on my the device that I'm using. So anyway, here you have a bit of puffer fish trap. It's a tripwire that senses into repeaters, of a set of repeaters that run into dispensers, which actually triggered the Pufferfish. Anyway, in here, you have a toggle flip-flop which helps squish the player to death. And this dispenser system is based on a pulse circuit, which actually I have forgotten to put it on subtract mode. Actually, I did put it on subtract mode. It just looks like I didn't do it. Anyway, the subtract mode helps create a pulse signal that goes to the dispensers, and that's what the arrows keep shooting at repeatedly. Uh, you did see some redstone circuits in the um, 
four traps, so I'm gonna act together this one. Basically, the shulker box trolling that I'm just talking about. Basically, it, all the items get sucked into a micro of a hopper vent, followed by a hopper and vent into a chest. Whereas, all the items are collected, ready for some some player in a PvP experience to go and take the chest. I am not good at PvP, but I do make up traps. Crap. Some I take ideas from, some I create my own, some I modify from others' ideas. I'm actually going to show you in a quick tutorial on how to create the um, Crucianus Curse Trap. Basically what that does slash the killing curse trap whatever you prefer so anyway what you're gonna need I have no idea but if you're I'll try to figure it out in survival I'll tell you at the end basically what you do know is that you need to follow my lead first create a a 2x3x2 two by, by two wall, actually a 3x3 three three wall. And then go to the center of the wall and break the block. Then place a diamond ore block. If you're in survival, you have to mine it using silk. You have to mine with a pickaxe using silk touch to get diamond ore as follows. And then place a redstone torch. Whoops. Then place a redstone torch as follows. I need to remember which sides I'm using. Anyway. And or I'm just getting confused here. What the flip? So anyway, place a block right here, followed by some redstone dust. And then just run that into a block with a torch. I said, I probably want to use a redstone repeater for best effects. And then place down a block followed by redstone. Place a command block followed by two repeaters if you're using the kill command. If you're doing the cruciatus method, then you can stop right there and place the um, command block there. Basically, I want to show you both ways, so basically you're going to put a redstone dust on top of that, and then place down two repeaters set to the maximum vortex and click them three times after placing them, and then hold shift, then place another command block. The first one should be kill player, and then for this, for extra security, Follow my lead. It's it should say at E, which means target all entities, but to target a specific entity, you go in brackets, type equals. Do not put the exclamation point. I know that's a common mistake for me when I use that command to kill entities, but use the exclamation point. It will kill every single entity except for that entity, so don't use the exclamation point. So follow my lead. Item, end the brackets, and you should see something like this. You should set your spawn point. And then take out a diamond pickaxe. And do... Let's test this out. It kills you instantly. But you still get experience points though. So basically. What I should do. So basically. Because of that we are actually not done. Basically what you're going to want to do. Is you're going to want to place down. Redstone dust. Followed by. A redstone block. 
And then go ahead and add a repeater. And then add one more command block. Break that block down below. And do bomb my lead again. I'll do it slowly. This will kill the experience sword. If mine. So basically, I'm going to, to mind ass. It kills the player. They don't get experience orbs. Basically, I did fail. But basically, I am running out of time. So, I'm going to have to call it quits for this episode. But in the next episode, I will finish up this tutorial. So anyway, that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching.